What's up, Samurai? We are back in small troll to troll, and today we are hitting things off with a bang, starting the 45k series again with the Bard. So for those of you that don't know, the reason why it took so long to continue the 45k series is because of a couple reasons. One is that it just took me that long to get a set of magic gems that I was satisfied with because gem grinding, I am not a fan of in this game. I like just grinding for the sake of grinding, and more particularly, gem grinding would be fine if I didn't have to go to every single stupid elemental world at a chance of upgrading my gems to maximum. But either way, it's all said and done. It's all maxed out now. However, I've had my gems maxed out for a while. So, Sushi Man, why did you not continue the 45k series? Honestly, because I was waiting for this. For those of you that don't know and didn't check out my video that I put out the other day, I am on a trip. I'm on vacation. I'm in Japan right now. Not, not right now that I'm recording this, it's separate. But I'm on vacation, and I knew that the vacation was coming, and these videos in particular are very, very easy for me to produce. So I can just pump out and record like all the other classes and so on and so forth, and that's what's going to exactly happen. You're going to see all the 45K series is going to come to an end over these following weeks while I'm away. Um, before we get started though, a couple things I gotta let you know about. I don't have a lot of life, as you can see. I don't have ideal stats on this character. That's because my magic gems are built for a different class, uh, and I'm just kind of swapping them around on all of my characters, and I can't afford to re-roll the stats on my gems to be perfect for every single character in this series, and so I'm not ideal stats as you can see more particularly my survivability is going to be particularly low the other thing is i'm not rocking a good class ring uh, or a hidden ring effect or anything like that i i don't even have a good class ring for the bard because i don't level the bard as you can see right here i don't main this character but uh the hidden ring effects are as follows peaceful moment which makes peaceful song buff reduce damage done to enemies or done to allies, sorry. Uh, musical Master, so the bard gains a critical damage buff when all three bard song buffs are active. That's going to end up being probably one of your best ones. Or Overload, which is at max melody, you gain a small damage boost. Now, one of those is a lot harder to retain, which is going to be the stupid Musical Master one. Overload, as far as I've heard from bard mains, is going to be the best one. And anyways, let me get my st timer started here and we'll just talk about this class in terms of speed farming. Skylander in the Skylands, this is beautiful. We're gonna talk about this character for speed farming. So we can see that our base movement speed is at 140. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Um, that's thanks to, whoopsie daisy, that's thanks to the star chart. The star chart is going to make almost every character in the game viable for speed farming just because of the fact that we're going to end up having uh, that sweet, sweet extra movement speed. Am I rocking everything correctly? Yeah, it looks like it. I got my movement speed ally as well, or uh, movement speed emblem. Speed farming falls into two categories, which is namely going to end up being, how can you end up being speedy from one dungeon to another? Well, with the Bard, thankfully, if you have our song going at 24-7, we're actually at 213 movement speed. The main thing with this class that is kind of annoying to me is that we have to constantly juggle and stare at the bottom middle of our screen to have all of our abilities go off. And unfortunately, some of these abilities just don't like to cooperate. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't like to uh, obey for some re strange reason. But the point is that so long as we end up triggering all of our effects and ultimately getting up to this song, um, we end up getting a, our first buff, right? And uh, I got to try and be very careful here so that I can end up having maxed out battle damage song, more music time. Okay, we're good to go. And essentially, that's all we need to do in terms of like actual like farming and dealing damage and stuff uh, is... Okay, stupid enemy, is we just have to have our battle song going. Now, if we want to end up being a speedster, unfortunately, it means we have to have our battle song, we have to have our normal song for our uh, for our speed, and then we also have to have our song to keep our timer up. This is why I'm not a very big fan of this class, because I have a very hard time uh, focusing on the bottom middle of my screen like an idiot, 
you can see the icons showing up on top of our character as well. Okay, cool, but you can't see how much time is left on your song in the middle of your character. And so that to me is kind of like the main focal point and the main reason why I hate the Bard. Genuinely, I do not like this class. Is it a bad class? God, no. It's actually really, really good, despite the fact that you don't really see many people use it. And I think that the main reason so many people don't use it is because of the fact that this character is wildly complex. That's probably why those of you that do main the Bard love the Bard. Now, let me give you a little bit of backstory here. I don't like red mage gameplay. This is something that my brother and I have always used when we try to explain certain classes in video games or certain gameplay styles, right? So a red mage in old school Final Fantasy games basically was a class that would trigger temporary buffs for you or the party, right? And that essentially is what games like The Witcher do, uh, what the Bard do for its gameplay style, and is exactly why I do not like it. I don't like classes that do stuff like that. It's just, it's something that just doesn't appeal to me, having a temporary buff. But you can see, we really start to suffer when I don't have all of my songs going. More particularly, I have to have my um, song going that gives me the movement speed, which does make a wild difference in terms of our consistency of getting from dungeon to dungeon. Now, anyways, I'm getting a little bit distracted, and so it's difficult for me to focus and explain what the heck is going on here, because uh, essentially, as far as speed farming is concerned, it's about travel time between dungeon to dungeon. Okay, Bard does that in spades, he's fine. But what about actually dealing damage to the enemies? Well, the thing is that, as you can see, single target damage might suffer a little bit, but the Bard actually does a fantastic job fighting multiple enemies because we are actually going to have all of our shots phase through the enemies. So similarly to the Draco or Pirate Captain, uh, the way that our ability is coded, it actually phases through objects. Uh, not necessarily like walls and stuff, but more particularly it phases through enemies, which makes all the difference in terms of dealing damage to large groups. Because you can see our base attack is already doing like maybe 34 mil per. Uh, I think that was without a flask. And that would be doing it towards every single enemy versus a character like the Trickster that might be doing similar damage, but to one enemy at a time. All right, so let's head into the delves. Again, as always with these videos, this is not ideal depth. You know, we could easily be handling depth 140, 145, so on and so forth. But I need to think in long terms, the big game plan, right? And it's not cost effective enough for me to craft individual portals for every single one of these videos. I would, frankly speaking, just run out of resources. So we've got the objective to kill enemies. And as you'll see at this depth is not much of a problem, especially for your boy, the Bard. Thankfully, if you know we end up dealing with large groups of enemies, we do have a lot of range with our attack. And as far as I recall, it's our class gem that gives us more range, right? Yeah, more range and blah, blah, blah. So as far as using the Bard for um, fighting delves, is it a class that you see very often? Not particularly. Most of all because, again, like, I'm sitting here being really, really lazy, but in every single facet of how you would end up using the Bard effectively, you're going to have to use the Bard songs and you're gonna have to consistently get them maxed out, which is just not fun gameplay to me. I like seeing what I'm doing and I like not having to focus every few seconds to take care of a song and do a different action command and so on and so forth. Like, I think it would be a lot cooler if, uh, they removed some actions for the Bard songs, like if we didn't have to roll or something, I, I don't know. But I think that that kind of defeats the purpose of the type of people that are attracted to this kind of class, which again, Red Mage gameplay is not something I'm into. Anyways, we're only missing a couple more enemies here. So I'll see you at the boss. Now, despite me saying you don't see too many bards in the delves, that doesn't mean that you can't use the bard in the delves. It's actually very effective. Just I'm too lazy to use all of my songs. So anyways, I mean, I sit here like an idiot for a moment and uh, try to get my bard song all set up and toasty ready for the boss. And unfortunately, it takes that long in order to get ourselves super geared up and ready for this guy. 
And then, of course, once we actually have him all set up and ready, we can just unload on him and deal pretty decent damage. Bard is not going to end up being a particularly good boss killer. It is decent enough. But the main surprise with this class, in conclusion, for bosses in particular, is that the Bard is actually one of the only classes in the game that is an effective support class. That's right. Because what I've heard from a lot of people is that they actually do end up using Bard songs to buff their entire group when they're fighting Leviathans and doing Delves and so on and so forth. And I've heard from reputable sources that the meta in Trove, if you want to even act like Trove has a meta, because it doesn't really, you know, it's it, meta is like maybe 1% of the player base. Nobody actually cares about any of this stuff, which is why I don't talk about it in my videos, because I don't care. But apparently the big thing that everybody does for super deep delves and so on and so forth is they have a whole group of boomerangers and then one bard in the middle to just kind of even things out and give them extra damage and so on and so forth. The reason why so many people end up using the boomeranger is because when you're one boomeranger, you're not going to be particularly good as a boss farmer. You can be, but it's based on RNG. And... The only reason I'm bringing that up is because when you're in a larger group, things change a little bit. And in these 45K videos in particular, what I wanna leave you with when I do these is I wanna give you a good comparison of how this class handles itself solo so that you can take that knowledge and understand that no matter what, it's going to do good with a group if it does good alone. And in synopsis or a summary or whatever for the Bard, Yes, you most definitely can main this character. Um, I'd say that it's actually a really, really good at pretty much everything. It's not particularly good at bosses, but your team might thank you if they actually care about the buff. Most people don't because most of us just <clears throat> solo bosses with Solarian or Shadowhunter. Maybe Gunslinger. <laughs> not, well, not anymore. But the point that I'm getting at, though, is that you can use Bard for pretty much everything. Uh, it will suffer in terms of boss farming, but speed farming, it's actually really good. And delves, it's actually really good as well, but you have to be into its style of gameplay. And I, I don't know if the average player is going to be into it just because primarily you're spending your time focusing on this bottom meter. Maybe that's something that you like. It does make it very stressful trying to, uh, you know, as a balancing act, trying to keep your song maxed out keep the right songs on while you're still farming. And that's something that might appeal to some people. It just doesn't appeal to me. Anyways, thanks for watching. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel. Sign and stay epic, everybody.